Well, the femme fatale is also interested in getting the secret formula. <laughs> it is very nice of you to discuss this subject with me, Miss Vladivostok. Oh, you can call me Raisa, Doctor. I uh, don't call me Doctor. Very well. Just call me Professor. <laughs> yes, Professor. I think that you are a very fascinating man. Perhaps I can come over to your hotel this evening for a little discussion about sales. Sales? <laughs> oh, you mean sales? No, I'm not interested in sales. I'm, I'm just interested in research. Uh, 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 did you know that Alexandra Kollontai proved that you could have sex in a glass of water? <laughs> or was it fusion? <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know about tonight, but my daughter will be uh, out this evening with someone she just met. Does he go by the name Adam, or Fred, Frank, or Robert Jones? Precisely, I think. Wait, I mean, the moment to lose. Oh. What I mean is that I really must talk to you about your research. It is so important to the future of mankind. Meanwhile, the secretary discovers she has a rival to the affections of the master spy. Did anything out of the ordinary happen yesterday, Ralph, or...? or... You can call me Robbie today. <laughs> I like Robbie. It's got a fancy sound to it. Well, if you must know, I met an intriguing person yesterday. Another spy. A spy? For our side or the other side? I'm not sure. I, I think this person is really for our side, pretending to be for the other side, pretending to be for our side. But then again, this what person might be... What kind of a person is it? A male person or a female person? Oh, what difference does it make? What did she look like? I haven't looked that closely yet. <gasps> Betray 